Hey everyone, hope you guys are ready for a quick warm up because I have a fun activity for you today. So let's get started with our nice little walk in. In place, here we go. Nice and easy. Pump the arms, get them going a little bit too. All right, just marching in place. Nothing too crazy yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. All right, let's get the knees a little higher, waist high. Opposite arm, opposite leg. So right arm goes, left arm goes, left arm goes. Left arm goes. Higher. Higher than your waist. Get those knees up. Nice. Okay. Now, since we're already in this motion, why don't we go ahead and do some elbow to knee touches? Let's do 20 of them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good, okay. Start jogging in place nice and easy. Cool. Not too fast, just a nice easy jog in place. Let's get the knees a little bit higher again now. up come on keep going stay with me okay good slow it down now nice and easy that was good good job okay good good just walking in place now try to catch our breath good Okay, we're gonna start off with a couple of lunges. So, take a step forward, have your arm come up, opposite arm come up, down, or you can do like this. Keep your chest out, shoulders back when you do these. 20, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Almost there. Come on. 18, 19, last one, here we go, 20, good, okay, let's get those arms moving a little bit, we're going to be using those today, so, let's see some arm circles, 20 baby arm circles, that's one, that's two, oh, let's do it for 20 seconds, sorry, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, that's eight, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Just for good luck. Why not, right? Okay, let's stretch your arms. Right arm across your chest, pull it towards you. 20 seconds. 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005. 
2008, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Okay, excellent. We're going to do some toe touch and jumps. Okay, let's do 10. All right, 10 of these. So touch your toes, go down, and then we're going to jump up. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. Now we are moving. What do you say we do some washing machines? Twist our bodies a little bit. 20 of these, ready? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, excellent. All right, let's uh, stretch our hamstrings out a little bit, the back of your leg right here. Let's take a step forward with your right foot. You're gonna go straight down, touch each side of your heel if you can, but just make sure that your front leg is extended. All right, here we go. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 2013, 2014, 2015, all right, flamingo time. Here we go. Right, left hand, left ankle, pull. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 2,015, 2,016, 2002, All right. Very good, boys and girls. Did a great job. Right now, it's a great opportunity for you to go get some water chill out, cool down a little bit, maybe three minutes, and then come back and join me for the activity. But you did a great job, so you deserve some water. Go get it. Bye. Hey, boys and girls. For, so for today's activity, you are going to need one paper plate and a wiffle ball if you have one. If you don't have a wiffle ball, you can make the standard sock ball that we've used in the past. And you're also going to need one water bottle, an empty water bottle, or uh, if you don't have an empty water bottle around, it could be maybe like an empty soda can or something of that nature. Okay, so you're going to need those items 
and press pause right now and when you come back press play and we will get started okay now that we're back and we have i have an empty can a paper plate and a wiffle ball what we're going to do is a game called strikeout so it's going to incorporate several different movements i know it sounds like a baseball activity and it is but there's also going to be some soccer involved as well so without further ado let me show you how we're going to get started okay you're going to put the empty soda can or water bottle on the side for now because we don't need it for the first round there's going to be several levels to this game and it's going to get progressively harder i know you boys and girls can do it so hopefully the wind cooperates today we'll see you're going to put your paper plate with the bottom side of the paper plate sticking out towards you and it's going to be leaning up against the wall as a target like this okay so as you can see it's leaning up against the wall and i'm going to take one two three four five steps away from it you can take six if five is too close like this okay it's up to you whatever you feel is going to be enough of a challenge but not too challenging anyhow i'm six steps away and i'm facing it and i'm going to throw the ball in an overhand motion like a baseball okay i'm going to try to throw a strike and knock the paper plate down okay if i don't do that then i'm going to have to go get the ball come back here and try it again okay if i do it what's going to happen is i'm going to take the plate and put it face down so it's flat on the ground and then I'm going to bring the ball back and try to make a soccer kick with the inside part of my foot we've practiced these motions before we're going to review them you're going to pass it with the inside part of your foot and try to get the ball to land on the plate okay now if it takes you more than five times to kick the ball on the plate we'll move on and set it up again so Again, we're going to be doing all of this in order, and we're going to be doing it five times total. If you want to do extra credit and do seven, that's great. If this is easy for you, great. If it's way too easy for you, then you can back up a little bit and try from a further distance. All right, so I'm going to throw with my right hand. I'm facing the plate. My left shoulder is facing the plate. I'm going to step with my left foot and throw it. I didn't knock it down. That's okay. I'm going to pick it up. I'll try it again. Step, turn, throw didn't make it i'm gonna get my wiffle ball try it again step turn throw knocked it down whoa ball's running away from me maybe i should have used a sock ball all right so i knocked it down so now i'm gonna flip it over like this and try to kick it with the inside part of my foot i'm gonna put it down from the same spot try to kick it and get it to land not land, yeah, land and stay on the paper plate. Didn't make it, that was one. Nope, two. Three, no good. Come on. Oh, it didn't land on it. Four. This is going to be the challenging part, I feel like. Oh, just a little too hard. Five. Okay, didn't work, so I'm going to pick the plate up again. If you want to try, keep going and challenge yourself until you get maybe 10 kicks, that's fine. But just don't stay here all day because we're going to be ramping it up. All right, then you're going to put it back up again. That was level one. And we're going to try it left-handed. So try to throw a left-handed. If you want to do another round of right hand, five times right hand, that's fine. Or left-handed, that's fine. I'll let you boys and girls pick and choose at this time what you would like to practice, okay? But you are going to have to switch feet, okay? You're going to have to switch feet. So let's say I do want to throw again with the right, and I knock it down like I just did. I'm going to flip it over, and I have to pass it with my left foot now on the ground. I have to practice passing with my left foot. Inside part of the foot, no good. I'm gonna save you my four other kicks to tell you what's gonna happen on level two now. Once you've passed level one, we're gonna to get to level two. And level two is a little bit harder and we're gonna get our can. So, you're gonna get your empty soda can here. And it's gonna be 
a a goalie. Okay? You're going to you're going to put it aside for now. You're going to throw it again, try to get a strike. Throw a strike. Strike him out. There we go. Uh, basically knocked it down. So, then we're going to have the goalie. The can is going to be the goalie or the water bottle is going to be the goalie in front. So we're going to try to continue kicking it and see if you can get it past the goalie. And this time if it hits the plate, that's a score. You get a point for that. Okay? You'll get a point for that as long as the ball, that means it got by the, the goalie. Oh, bingo. I hit the plate, got by the goalie. Yeah, I know the wall helped me. That's okay. Okay? So you're going to be doing that five times with your right hand, five times with your left hand, or if you want to do it all, again, with one hand only, either ten times with your left hand if you're left-handed, ten times with your right hand if you're right-handed. You may do so. It's up to you. Okay? Then, finally, after we're done with all of that, you're going to go to level three. Okay? Now, level three is going to be even harder. Level three is going to be the hardest, probably. So, here's how level three is going to work. After you knock the plate down again, after you strike, strike the person out whoosh, with a strikeout and knock the plate down, you're going to get the can. I'm going to skip that part because you've seen me throw the, the ball at the plate plenty of times. You're going to put the empty bottle or the empty can on top of the plate. And you're going to have to try to knock the can down and have it land on the plate. If you do, that's a point. Okay, every time you successfully do these things, it's one point. So, I will put the ball down here. I'll, we'll pretend I already knocked it down and I'm going to pass it. I didn't do it. That was one. I'll bring it back. Okay, here's two. Didn't do it. If the can doesn't land on the plate, it doesn't count. It has to land on the plate. Three. Oh, oh, no point. Okay, so what do I do now? I am going to pick the plate up and try to strike out again, start all over, okay? And you're going to be doing this either, uh, I would say, five again, five times each or ten times total. If you want to practice right and left, do five times with your right, five times with your left, or you can do ten times total, okay? That will be level three. Final level... Level four, if you have time, boys and girls, and if you want to, this is optional, okay, is the one-minute challenge, all right? And the one-minute challenge, you are going to see how many times you can, without the can, just make a strikeout and then kick the ball and have it land on top of the plate. If you can get to two, that's pretty fantastic, okay? So, again, this is a fun game. We're working on some baseball skills. We're working on some soccer skills. And we're reviewing things we've already learned in the past, adding a little fun to it. So it's also fun if you have a partner. Again, if you have a partner and you can do this side by side with your partner, that would be a lot more fun than just doing it by yourself. Try to grab your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, aunt, uncle, grandpa, grandma, whoever it is, and bring them into the game and have them do it next to you and see who can do it first. You can have a little race, see who can get to how many points first. See who can knock down the can and score first. Okay? Enjoy this game, boys and girls. I hope you have fun, and I'll see you next time. Take care.